So I want to talk with you just a little bit about this snow plow that I purchased. This is the second snow plow that I purchased this winter, and this winter hasn't been going on that long, folks. The first one that I purchased was an electronic, um, an electric snow plow. Rated really high, there's really only two of them out there. And it was easy to put together. It was a lot of fun to drive. But on this uphill slope that I have in a long driveway, the charge of the batteries lasted about 15 minutes for me. And I recharged those batteries multiple times just to make sure I was actually getting the full charge in them. I was, and again, it just couldn't hold the power that I needed for the driveway that I had. So I ended up going with a gasoline powered um, snowblower. One other thing to note about snowblowers is the one, the first one that I got had wheels on it. So there's two types of snowblowers. There's ones that have just your traditional wheels. When you think of a snowblower, you're probably thinking of a snowblower with a wheel on it. That's typically what you see. There are, there's one other kind of snowblower and it's called a track snowblower. So instead of the wheels, it actually has these tracks. Let's see if I can show you these tracks there. And they're the type of tracks that you would see kind of on a tank. So when you're going uphill, when you have elevation and or just, you know, movement in your driveway, have a gravel driveway, a track, um, a track device rather than a wheel is really great. I found myself pushing the wheels uphill and it was just such a headache. So this track, these tracks are amazing. So I have here, I ended up purchasing the, it's the Troy built storm tracker and it is the 2890. Um, it's the lower version that you can get. It's kind of a, a, a bit of a budget version. It is 28 inches wide and it's got a great auger down here. I'm in the middle of, of actually moving snow right now. Really nice auger um, that I've been working with. It throws really well. So you can see the chamber here behind me. The one thing about this chamber is it is plastic. Um, I'm interested to see how long it's actually going to last for me. It's the one cons that's, yeah, I would say that's probably the one concern that I have about this. So far, so good. It's been through, this is its second big snowstorm of the season. So, so far, so good. It comes with, um, you know, a little clearing thing to actually clear the auger out. Um, which I'm not really going to do right now, but you can do that. So that's great. And everything else is pretty what you would expect to find on a snowblower. Let's take a look at these controls. So the controls themselves, you've got this that actually controls the up and down nozzle. You see that go up and down. This controls your reverse. You've got two speeds, one and two speed and then your forward. It's one through six. So one thing that I wish this one had different, I wish it had more reverse speeds. I find that I actually do need to reverse a good amount. And so when there's only two speeds to reverse, it can be a little slow. So I wish that that was different. Just know if you're gonna do a lot of kind of reverse stuff, you're gonna go a little bit slower. Just be aware of that. It's not a, it, you know, it's not a deal, a deal killer for me, but something to be aware of. And then you just got your typical, um, your typical things that you see on a snowblower. So you've got your choke here, your ignition key, which is pretty cool. This is your primer. And this is your, down here is your kind of like go turtle to fast rabbit right it's kind of it's pretty typical you see these a lot on any sort of kind of engine like this um, to help you with speed and and how well the engine is moving how quickly the engines moving and then your gas and your oil it was pretty easy to put together it took me about maybe 15 minutes and started up the first time I tried it takes normal gasoline and a mine came with oil. Make sure if you get one, yours comes with oil. Check it, not all of them do. Again, take a look at this track system though. 
it's pretty amazing I mean you can see just how it grabs the ice it's pretty phenomenal and it just moves right through and you can see the track that it was laying right there I noticed that the only time that I've have, have had some difficulties with this is on slush, which makes sense. I think I would have difficulties with any snowblower on slush. And then also on ice. Again, you're going to have difficulties with any snowblower on ice. So, you know, this is heavy, heavy snow today. It's throwing it really well. Um, really light snow as well. Uh, it just worked amazingly it slices through really really well so two thumbs up for the troy built storm tracker 2890 and uh, i would highly recommend it i think it's i think it's really really good great all right so i'm going to get this started up you're going to take a look and see either how easily or how not easily uh, this is going to work so let's go for it so a couple of things to note when you're turning this on, make sure you turn the choke on and you're going to prime that primer button that I showed you three times, at least three times. I'm going to, I tend to like to do it a couple more times than that. And then I make sure that I'm not on Jackrabbit, but I'm on Turtle. That makes sense. 